Hello, Shalom, Shalom. How you doing? Peace be unto you, eternal. Happiness, love, truth, justice, mercy, and all the incredible, fortunate, great situation you can be in. And many, many blessings rain down upon you, your family, and your loved ones. My name is Nubian King. I'm broadcasting here uh, through the medium of YouTube from the area on this earth they call Israel, Northeast Africa. I want to share some things with you that you you probably haven't heard heard about black people. <clears throat> Excuse me, because whew, we living in a world where we have individuals that spend a lot, a lot of energy, time, and effort and money character assassinating us as a people, black folks. Always negative. I'm going to share with you something about us as a people. Let's talk about the black man and woman mind. Let's talk about how powerful that Nubian chocolate, melanated, African Edenic mind is. You see, there was a study done several years ago that the intent of the study was to find a concrete scientific way to say that white people was more superior than black people. This is what this study objective was and because of the uh, knowledge and information they've gained centered around DNA then what they discovered was that the more DNA series equals the greater level of intelligence that one can achieve and DNA is in you know animals and humans and what have you is everywhere so what they did they started in the animal kingdom orangutan chimp uh, orangutan monkey and chimpanzee okay the orangutan had three DNA series the uh, chimpanzee had four and the monkey had five okay then the more DNA series mean the more intelligent you are we can say it in just that form you can say uh, the more DNA series series the more uh, capable of you achieving greater intelligence okay but just with this short explanation the more DNA series you have the smarter you are just like that okay just that simple so they went into the humans and they started with the European for those that you may not know European simply mean white people now, they didn't go into America because they went to Europe, which is where those Americans came from. The, the Christopher Columbus whole thing, before that, it was indigenous people that was not European in America. So they went into Europe because that's the root. In Hebrew, the word is shur, shurish. The shurish is the root of the plant or the tree or what have you. And they know that the Europeans spread it out all over the world. So they went into Europe and they analyzed people over there. And they saw that the Europeans had six DNA series. So they feel real good about themselves because they was one DNA series above an animal. Now they go into Africa and they get into Africa. And lo and behold, they discover that the Africans have a whopping nine DNA series. Three DNA series above the white man and four DNA series above the smartest animal. That blew them away. They did some more studies, went other places in Africa, and every time beam it come up, the African and African descendant have nine DNA series, which means in the human family, it is the African with nine DNA series that has the greatest level of intellect and have the necessary ingredients to achieve 
incredible intellect and the white man have six now this is not me making this up i got this you can go to youtube and look at dr um johnson and he explained all this how is it that you've never heard about this because when they got this information they copyrighted the information and put it on the shelf for it not to be perpetuated but it's out there okay so now what do you do as a black person knowing that you have this physical capability of achieving intelligent levels beyond everybody on earth first of all if you just stop and look at black people and watch what they do with a open unbiased non-racist anti-prejudice mind you'll see that superior mind and it shows up in everything not just sports but academics also look at the sisters that they made the movie about called hidden figures these sisters mathematically were so incredibly genius that the astronaut didn't want to get on the, the craft until he knew of a surety that it was the black girl that did the calculation for they return back to earth because if you come in too shallow you bounce off the atmosphere and you forever in space and if you come in too steep you burn up so coming back to earth was an incredible incredible sensitive crucial thing and the only one that he trusted to do the calculation was the black woman why because those sisters time and time again show for superior intellect superior intellect you look at the black man the african uh, uh general cannibal that went over there and mollywhopped the european up out of africa do you all know that to this day they still teach african general war strategies and tactics in america's military mm-hmm yes sir bob even myself i experienced incredible intellect when i was working at digital equipment corporation where we had a problem with a bird board that we created over there called the irma card it's i-r-m-a it was something way back in the day like this is before internet this is the before the intranet and this was during the time of the creation of the ethernet i'm not gonna go into that but we put a board together at Digital Equipment Corporation and it would not work. It was me and your brother that figured out what the problem was. At the time I was young, I didn't know I had nine DNA series. I didn't know none of this. I just recently found this out. I'm like 62. I was doing this when I was 17, 18 years old working at Digital Equipment Corporation. I was a communication specialist, electronic technologist. And a technologist is above a technician that just repair computers and below an engineer that design them. Which means as a technologist, I can interface between the engineers and the technician. And this showed off when I was able to get the Irma car online, when, when everybody else walked away. So, what I'm talking about is that that you never hear anybody talk about, which is the powerful, incredible, intellectual black man and woman mind and the power of it. Now, it's, it's twofold. It's spiritual, which is an energy, and it's physical. What is the physical portion that make our mind so incredibly special? It's a gland in the brain you probably heard them talk about before called the pineal gland. I remember a few years ago, I had a conversation with a friend of mine 
over WhatsApp and I was talking about the pineal gland. Lo and behold, now here white people start talking about the pineal gland as if they experts on the pineal gland. Well, when I listened to them, I could tell that they had just got some information and now they're trying to do what they always do, trick you like the Wizard of Oz. You remember when they was looking for the dog Toto and they went and they pulled the curtain and they saw the old scrumped up heathen back there using technology to, 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 to fool the people and he's speaking in the microphone, I am the wizard, woo, and everybody was scared because they, you know, they heard these lies, myths about the great wizard of Oz and when you go to Oz, you can hear his voice, you couldn't see him and then certain kind of little things would happen around Oz, but he used drone technology, AI, huh, television, radio, huh, internet, computers. He used technology to make you think he was this great, incredible being. Where in fact, what was he? That little scrumpled up, ragged old heathen with bad hair that was scared as a all get out when they opened that curtain scared him to bits so what was he doing he was fooling everybody using technology to make people think he was this great incredible being same thing today the part physical part of the black man and woman mind that gives us incredible physical greatness is called a pineal gland. The pineal gland is a gland situated at the base of your skull, tucked up in, tucked up in there, right at your spine. You know, your spine connects to your brain. And right there where that spine goes up there and connect in the back, tucked up under there, is a little gland called the pineal gland. Sorry, I'm not even going to start over because I was on a roll right there. The pineal gland is tucked under there. And what is the pineal gland? What does it do? What is its job? The pineal gland is that physical element in our bodies that can receive spiritual energy and convert it to physical energy that gives us the power over our physical surroundings. That's what the pineal gland does. And see, when I would listen to the European white dude trying to break it down, you know, he couldn't do it. It's just that simple what I just said. Now, to go further in your understanding, Spiritual energies is also including thought energy. When you have a thought, that's just energy. You can't grab it, hold it. There's nothing tangible where you can, okay, put it in a bottle, put it on the shelf. This is some thought. No. Your thoughts is up there in between your ears and your brain and your mind. You have a thought. Well, the, not, the, the pineal gland can take those thoughts and convert them into energy that have a direct effect on your physical surrounding. That's how we as a people, African, Edenic people, Nubian, black folks, are sensitive about the surrounding. You never seen us as a people, hundreds of years, just one tunnelly destroy and tear up and blow up the world the way they have drop bombs and make mess and just, you know, wherever they show up, that's what they do, destroy. We come in and look around, oh, we need to do this and that, you know, like the way they did the Native American when they went in there with that destructive energy. 
killed all the Benson. When they discovered that the Benson was the number one source of food for the indigenous people in that land, they killed all the Benson. Because they that's that's what six DNA series that's whack that were animals do. That's their thought process, that's their nature. That's who they are. That's what they do. And no matter how well you cut their hair, braid their hair, clean them up with some black soap, slap some shea butter, you're not gonna change their nature. They're gonna be who they are. You always heard you can't, leopards can't change the spot. That just simply means that you can't change the nature of the beast. That is who they are. Okay? Just get that in your brain and just deal with it. But now over here, where the live, living, functioning, Nubian, black brothers and sisters mind, we're on another whole vibration because our thoughts can be converted into physical energy that you can cause the chair to raise up. You can you can cast your thoughts on the other side of the world. You know, sometimes have you have you noticed like okay, you you may be somewhere and you think about a person, and then lo and behold, that person may call you on the phone or they may come drop over your house. And they may say to you, you know, I was just thinking about you. Now was it them actually thinking about you or you actually was thinking about them and because you thought about that person, they pick that vibe up. They pick that energy up. And they say, hey, let me call. And boom, there y'all was talking. He said, you know, I was just thinking about you. Wow. You see, what we have to get to is being able to control that, focus it, and use it for good, not evil. And we will use it for good. You have a lot of people that are already doing what I'm saying. I've talked with a lot of people and introduced them to that ability, and I have helped a lot of people to improve it to, to where they are powerful. You know? So, now, here's something that I want to share with you that I know, you you know, some people may have, may take issue with, like, you know, no, that ain't true. When I was listening to this report about the Vietnam bodies coming back. When I would listen to the Vietnam bodies coming back, I was told that uh, they did autopsies on those bodies and the black soldiers pineal gland was flesh you know they was cal you know flesh like they supposed to be but then the white bodies pineal gland was rock calcified which means simply that pineal gland was not functioning how could it function and it's like a little rock up there in your head you know it's calcified little stone but the brothers and sisters that they autopsied, autopsied on, they found that, uh, you know, their pineal, pineal gland was flesh, which means it was active and working. Now, you all can go and debate that however you want. This is information that I gathered, you know, about what was, you know, the bodies that they was doing the autopsies to, okay? Now... That pineal gland takes your thoughts and convert them into physical energy. And yes, that person that you thought of picked that thought up and called you or came by. You did that. Now, 
what I'm explaining to you, I'm explaining to you about your powerful mind having nine DNA series because you black, and this is what they found out. It's all of us. In their minds, having six DNA series. And their studies say that the more DNA series one have, the greater level of intellect they can achieve. This is what they said. And see, YouTube is is uh, what, what they call throttling my channel because I was steady picking up new subscribers. But I haven't had a new subscriber in months because now they realize that I'm not over here with the dumb stuff. You know, when I had that uh, long discussion, where I had that discussion about the dirty details of uh, uh, dirty uh, Deion Sanders, that one video, one video, I picked up 400 subscribers. Last I saw it, it was 27,000 views. But listen to the title, The Dirty Details of Deion Sanders. At that time, that's what everybody was talking about. So a lot of people jumped on that and watched that video and got 400 subscribers because, you know, you had people talking about, oh, I like this brother. He sound like your uncle. Man, I like it, you know. And it ain't moved since. Because you two realize I'm not on the stupid stuff. And so they throttled like, uh-huh. You know, there may be people that have uh, 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 subscribed, but it don't process. And then I've had people to tell me I haven't got a uh, uh, notification from you in a while. Are you still posting videos? I'm like, what? But then when I talk to some of the old school YouTubers, they say, yeah, that's what they do when they discover you putting out positive content, you ain't over there, you know, throwing ice over your head and walking up the crates acting a, a, a damnable fool. But nevertheless, I'm not gonna stop because, you know, those of you all, I know some of y'all listening and you can spread the video yourself. But this power of the black man and black woman mind is actually more powerful than 10 nuclear bombs. And I know that's hard for you to believe. Man, 10 nuclear bombs, how are you gonna be? It's the power of thought. Now, this power is a process on how we get there. First and foremost, the black man and black woman must work in spiritual harmony with each other. Mm -hmm. See, that's critical. Because one can't tap into the raw power without the other. You need that sister. That sister need that brother. You can't do it with a white person because they ain't got the sick DNA series, which means that you'll be sitting there watching the TV and with your nine DNA series, you're going to see another whole picture. With their six DNA series, they won't be able to see what you see. I don't give a flying flip who get upset or who may rebuttal this. This ain't even my information. This is their information that they discovered in an effort to try to prove that white people were more superior than black people. They found that out. So I'm sharing with you all what they said, just like they said that in 26 states in the United States of America, 26 states have reported zero white babies in over a year and a half. That means that all them states, when every white person died, there's no other white person born to replace them. So that means what? They're in a negative birth rate, which means what? One day, they're going to look up and they're going to be gone. Look, look. I don't care if you get upset. That's the truth. They put that out. You see, these kind of people, they don't want you to say negative thing about them, but they're okay with putting out negative stuff about you, even if it's lies. Even if it's lies. It ain't even true. They lying. They're okay with it. 
as long as it's something negative about black people, but when black people put out the truth about them that's not lies and it's negative, oh, they want to come after you. That's why YouTube be stoking my channel. They don't, they don't, no, we ain't going to let that get out. Y'all know how that is. You can type uh, some truth out there on the social media streets and they're going to wipe that out. But you got something dumb and stupid that fly right over the top. No problem. And so here, I'm telling you all about the power of the greatest mind, the greatest power on this planet is more powerful than 10 nuclear bombs. That is the black man and black woman mind when they're working in spiritual, mental, energetic, psychological harmony. And that's the key. And that is why you see all of this foolishness amongst our people. The sisters hollering at the brother, the brother hollering at the sister, passport bros, sisters trying to run over there. You know, it's a mess. Why? You got to stop and ask yourself, why us? You don't hear that with white people. You don't hear that with Russians. You don't hear it with Asians. You don't hear it with Chinese. You don't hear it with Canadian. You don't hear that with Australian, even South America. You don't hear that from people from Latvia, people from Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan. You don't hear that from people, you know what I'm saying, from Malta, just black people. All over the internet, it's us clowning with us. And us can't never get together with us. You get a few of us together, we be doing good, and then all of a sudden, kaboom, we ain't doing good. It's always the mind that they have been working to control and bombard and keep us stuck on stupid because when, they, look, when, 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 uh, What's that band name? Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte. His butt went into Egypt, right? And when he got down to Egypt, and I'm telling you straight to chase an old fluff, he saw God. He saw black, beautiful, delicious God run all across Egypt, run all across Africa, right? By the time he got to Egypt, he was so daggone mad and pissed off at the incredible things that he saw the African people was doing in Africa. He commanded his cannons to blow the nose of the Sphinx off. That's why it ain't got no nose on it. That's historical fact. Napoleon Bonaparte told his can cannon operators, boom, blow that nose off. Because the big old black, no, you can see that's a black man all the way. No question asked. Yes, sir, Bob. Yes, sir, jealous. Jealousy has been one of the greatest energies of a base-minded beast seeing us do incredible things that they cannot do. That's the whole point. You ain't never seen them do it. Here and there, one to slip through doing pretty good, but it's always going to be a brother or sister to come back and do just as good or greater. And they've always stoked it, just like this information on YouTube. They ain't just letting it fly out. They, they, they keeping my channel suppressed from under that thousand subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Because I know good and well we got a whole lot of brothers and sisters who love this type of information and dialogue. And they will listen and tell other people next thing you know I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 million people. Black folk love to know powerful, beautiful things about themselves that says this is why you special. You know, I know we, we always can say that to the children, but now they put the doggone document out that shows exactly why you sitting up in that school bored to bits. You know, I'm just, I'm just telling you straight. A six DNA series can't teach a nine DNA series. Why? Because you shot three series. What are you going to say? That child done figured it out all, look, already before you get to the end of the day, done figured it out. We have children over here in school that are born of vegan parents. You got to hear this now. These children are born, born from parents that's been vegan 20, 30, and 40 years. And they had these babies that's never had no flesh in their system. Their parents had had no flesh. And these children come out, eyes wide open, looking around, sharp. They ain't screaming and hollering and acting a fool. You know, none of that. They just focus, and they so daggone sharp, it's mind-boggling. And studies have shown that black children walk faster, 
than a white baby. Now, y'all probably say, man, this dude, I'm, no, I'm not racist. I'm a realist that's telling you facts that you probably ain't heard before. And I know white people that hear, they're going to be a sense of call, make you feel shocked. Well, yeah, you shocked. You shocked three the DNA series. You, that just, I didn't do it. That's the way the creator put it out. But you tried to seal the information up so nobody wouldn't know that. You see, this is specific information that black people can show forth their superiority. Nine DNA series. European other people don't have it. That's the way it is. And so now, when you talking about what's up with our people, that is a yes sir Bob. I don't care what y'all say. Some of y'all say, oh, man, oh, the, the Willie Lynch letter, that ain't true. That didn't happen. Because y'all been, I hate to say it, you're just stupid. Anything to come up and show about how this bandit has used certain things, technique, and tactic to maintain his superiority over us. You got some of them clowns, you know, they'll say, no, that ain't true. Okay, well, let me ask you this. You saying it ain't true, right? I'm saying it is, and this is the document. So you saying it ain't true. I got proof that this is it. The Willie Lynch letter to the slave owners in Virginia on the River James, he had that meeting with them and explained to them how to take control of the slave's mind. Now this is the letter and when you go through that letter like I have line for line in detail, you can see black people all up in that letter. And I've heard brothers and sisters say, man, why black people act the way they act? Why black people act the way they do? Black, black, black. Look at that letter. One thing that's in that letter is long. And it tells you the, the, the making of a slave, you know, the breaking process, all this detail. All right? The thing about taking the strongest slave that all the slaves respect, bring him out in the center and bring all the slaves tie and feather him, beat him to an inch of his life, the time between two horses and split him in front of all of the slaves. Because that will instill fear, especially in the woman. She'll get to where she's afraid of the white man and she will teach her children how to be humble and do what we say in an effort to keep her babies from being killed like that guy. And so she would go into a certain mindset that she don't want her children to get destroyed and she'll begin to raise them babies to where they'll be more humble and do what we say. This is all in the document, right? Now, he said that no matter what you understand or what you don't understand, you got to understand this one point that at all costs, no matter what, these slaves must learn to love, trust, and respect only us. Now you think about that. You think about how we interact with each other as a people. Why we do what we do the way we do it. Do we really love each other? What is love? Love is doing good things to and for the one you say you love. Trust. You're dating somebody and you're suspicious. You want to see their cell phone. But they got the cell phone locked. Why the cell phone locked? That brings up another level of of suspicion and distrust. Why you got to have your cell phone locked? I'm going to tell you a little quick story with me. I was dating a sister a while ago. And um, I never had my cell phone locked. She had three daughters. They all had cell phones. All the cell phones locked. Hers, the three daughters. Everybody said, my cell phone was only one locked. And they kept them cell phones, they, they phone with them close all the time. Either in their hand, their pocket. It just, me... 
When I went to bed, I put my cell phone over there on the dresser and jumped in the bed, went to sleep. It was unlocked. I didn't lock it. Why? Why should I? Why I need to? I ain't got nothing on there. To, you know, I ain't got no secrets. But her cell phone was locked. And one night, I happened to wake up in the middle of the night. And I see this little light shining from under the sheet. And I don't see her head. She got the sheet pulled up over her head. And she on her cell phone texting. She didn't know I was awake. And I saw that. And I, I asked her about it. Three o'clock in the morning, who you texting? My sister. Her sister lived right down the street and they had talked earlier that day. But why are you at three o'clock in the morning texting on the dang on cell phone? Under the sheet. So what does that do? That calls me to move into a mindset of Concern about whether I can trust her. Like, who are you texting at three o'clock? Said my sister. Yup. The sister down the street? Yeah. I'm like, for what? Y'all didn't then she come over here today and y'all talking and laughing and everything. What you three o'clock in the morning? They must learn to love, trust, and respect only us. You go into a relationship as a black woman, not trusting the black man, because you've been conditioned psychologically for hundreds of years not to trust them. And they continuously doing that by always saying negative things about the black man. Publicly, it is not fashionable to say anything positive about a black man. Listen, you hear this video today, I want you to do some homework. The next seven days, I want you to pay attention and listen to whatever, everything, radio, TV, internet, whatever, and I want you to find some real positive detailed information about a black man. I don't want, you know, to just say I love my black man. I love black men. No, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's just a statement, a blanket statement. Oh, I love my black men. Please. That, no. I'm saying I want you to find some real positive Detailed information uplifting the black man. Don't just say I love black men. No, 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 no. That ain't going to cut it. I want you to say, well, black men are this and that. Because what do we hear? We always dead beat dads. Useless. Lazy. You know what I'm saying? A molester. Don't want to work. Don't take care of no business. All these things have become the norm in describing the black man in 2023. There be that, yeah. So I want you, as your homework assignment, for the next seven days, listen for any real, organic, authentic, detailed information uplifting the black man, positive information about the black man. To just say, oh, I love my black men, you know. I want to hear some detail about the characteristics and attributes positive about a great black man. You know, this brother, every day he at work, except Friday and Saturday, he don't work on some Friday and Saturday. He pays all the bills, he 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 cooks, he cleans. He can do the laundry. He can do all of that. And he interact with his family real good. His wife, he changed diapers. He prepared to take care of the baby. He come home from work and he kick in. And then some days he come home from work, he get a shower and go straight to bed. That's good. He done worked all day. The wife, you know, she cool with it. They share in the responsibilities in the house. They have no problem. She loved him. She talked good about him to all her girlfriend, especially to the single sisters. She always have something positive to say around them about being married to the brothers. She's not lonely. She don't go to bed by herself and she don't have no sexual toys that she had to use on herself. And so, you know, 
This is the things that I'm saying. What are your experience in your great relationship with this brother? Put that out there. Why not? Why not? See, see I, I know uh, people, sisters and people, they get a lot of likes trashing black folks. And whatever stupid stuff you can come up with being black, you're going to get a lot of likes on YouTube, get over a thousand shekels, you're going to get over a thousand subscribers, you're going to get over 4,000 public viewed hours, you're going to get monetized, and then you're going to start making some money. And all you did was trash black people and got a whole bunch of, you know, that going on. And then you can sell you some channel memberships, some badges, emojis, and go have you a website put together and people over there and you can make some money sell some merchandise you can do real good for yourself out here just trashing black people but not over here what nubian king doing telling you about the power of the black man and black woman mind working in harmony together it's harmony harmony is an energy energy is what this entire world is created in energy you see that steel out there that you're looking at? It looks like it's not moving. And the concrete stones that it's sitting on, look like it's not moving. Every single item that your eyes see is in fact moving. It's vibrating at a certain energy, frequency. Yes, sir, Reba. Them black plastic pipes, they moving, they vibrating, why? Because every single thing on this planet is created with atoms. And then you go back to the Creation Act. I remember when I was teaching up in Jerusalem, I asked some of those, you know, people up there, what did the Creator create? And they went on, you know, the heavens and the earth and the, all of that and the Adam and Eve and all that, Adam and Eve. And then I listened to them, and they ran off all this stuff, what it says in that book. It said, God created the heaven and earth and that is and all that, and he said it was good. And then I said, I would like to share with y'all what the creator actually created. And they were like, what? The creator only created one thing. All that stuff that you all just ran off, it wasn't a creation. I'm saying created from the mind, from nothing. The nep nowhere. What did he create? I said the only thing the creator actually created was the atom. And everybody's sitting there looking. Because most people don't know and understand the atom. A lot of people never heard of it. And if you ain't never heard of it, you definitely don't know what it is. Let me tell it just right quick. The atom is the smallest thing known to man. And I say known to man because man don't know a lot. They want to like to make like they do. The atom is made of three components. The, in the nucleus, which is the center of the atom, you have protons and neutrons. Protons, a positive charge. Neutrons is neutral. It's not negative or positive. The electrons is negative charge. Inside the nucleus, the center of the atom, if you have seven protons that's positively charged, you have seven electron that's circumferencing the atom going round and round that's negative charge. Seven protons in the nucleus, seven electrons in orbit around the atom. And each proton connect to one electron. An electron is spinning around the nucleus of the atom and it's spinning in a manner that is it's actually, it's not making a round circle, it's making like an oval shape. Because it's like it's shooting past the atom and the proton that's connected it, that's positive charge, is pulling it back and it's come back so fast it shoot around, out, and it's just like an oval shape. And them seven atoms are doing this with speed that the mind can't phantom. And now the creator created that atom. And then what did he do? He multiplied it. He multiplied the number of them atoms to where now you got so many atoms together, you have what you call a molecule. Now remember, none of those atoms are actually touching each other. They're close, they're extremely close, but in the world of reality, they are not never touching each other. 
that space in between all them atoms. But it's so close, you can't even imagine it. You can't, I mean, what I'm telling you, I studied this in electronic school, and I did some more studies, and I came to where, you know, it was clear in my mind. And one of the elders over here broke it down even, you know, see, I'm talking about the atomic level of, of the creation. So you got all these atoms and these spinning electrons that is uh, moving around the atom. And, and, and so the creator created so many of these atoms you don't even know. You can't phantom how many and put them together. And once so many atoms have been put together, you have a molecule. And a molecule, still, you can't see it with the, with the eye. And so once you put so many molecules together, now you have matter. And that you can see with the eye. All of this that you see in here is nothing but matter made from molecules, made from atoms. And the atoms with three components, proton, neutron, and electrons. Did it come to you yet? If the atoms are moving always, then everything you see out here is moving, is a vibration. And nothing is actually solid because there's space in between all of those atoms. Which means, yes, you can walk through that wall. Now, 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 you can walk through the wall, and that's on another class. But the point I'm referring to you now is that what? Those spinning electrons orbiting the nucleus of the atom and moving like that is energy. Movement is energy. Life is movement. See, when people get old, they stop moving. The essence to life is movement. The essence to movement is energy. And so the essence of the creation is built upon an incredible amount of atoms put together to make molecules put together to make matter rearranged to what you see now. These things. Now, because of this energy, this energy has a source energy that controls it. Now we get deep. The source energy is actually the mind of the black man and black woman that's working in harmony with each other. That's what it is. Now your mind vibrates at the highest vibratory frequency upon the face of the earth. Nothing on planet earth vibrates faster and more powerful than that black man and woman mind that's working in total harmony. Nothing. That's how you have power over the creation. That's how your thoughts control the creation when you understand who you are, how your mind works, and what it is that you're dealing with. That's way, way more than what you need right now. That's a lot for you to chew on, a whole lot. I said it because I love you. Now I got to go because these six DNA series knucklehead want to do something and it's always difficult working with them because I just I haven't been able to get them to understand how to talk on the radio. You hear that you hear that guy closing them big boats over there? I hear that noise better than I do them because they have the microphone down and they looking up and they talking and it, it just it just be a struggle. None of these none of these guys, none of them, not none of them 
know how to properly work with the radio after me teaching them several times it's just like in one ear and out the other and so you know why i don't get upset i know they ain't got the six dna series it's almost like teaching the daggone baboon so what can you get out the baboon you know he can hold the radio so i'm gonna have to go now but y'all got a lot right there y'all got a lot and if you made it to the end of this video man you need to get that relationship with you and the sister together to where y'all harmonize to where you can tap into the power and i'm gonna talk about that a little later maybe the next one or whatever but i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to you about tapping into that power and that's what they never the enemy never wanted us to be able to get to okay access to power all right i'm gonna go because they locking these boats down it's about to get noise i love you you know from the basement of my heart to the attic of my mind i love you 24 7 i mean i love you all the time shalom <laughs>